Hey guys, so I had a little bit more time to think about the best way to buy these cards. I think it is probably better just to buy the blue ones when they come in single. So first of all, your local game store will get 10 of these in the collectible box. So they will get 50 dual lands total, which isn't a lot. But that's not really what I'm concerned about. I think what you should be concerned about is buying them one by one because obviously Tarn and... Now, I don't know if they're going to be different prices, which would be kind of weird. Why would a Arid Mesa be more valuable than a... Or why would Arid Mesa be more, less expensive than a Misty Rainforest? At that point, if they did make it by prices for these secret layer drops then we would know that something has gone amiss because then they would be acknowledging the secondary market. Secret layers in the past, they've had different prices, but they've typically been kind of the same price, right? Um, and there's been other sets that are, you could pick this one and that one. So we all know, they know that secondary market, but for legal reasons, they can't really address it that way. So if a Misty Rainforest is double the cost of an Arid Mesa, hmm, that would be very weird, right? So assuming that they're all the same price, oh yeah, the blue ones are going to be really valuable. Misty and Tarn, uh, I don't see those being bad buys. So due to the virus, people are buying less Magic cards, of course, because Ikoria, it's been even... Rumored that Ikoria is a pre-release that you can have at your home by yourself now. So no need to go to the local game store. Channel Fireball is canceling every Magic Fest under the sun. So the Ikoria, I think if there's enough of a storm brewing that I will make a bold prediction that it will be one of the least sold sets uh, in recent history because of the virus, because of the wallet fatigue. Why buy a collector's box? What's a collector's case go right for now? A collector's booster box of Ikoria is 209 on eBay. Or you can buy this for supposedly $165 from your local game store. Oh yeah, there is nothing in Ikoria that you can pull and a collector's booster box that will be better than five fetch lands. Let me repeat that again. <laughs> There's nothing in Ikoria worth these five lands. And if the suggested MSRP is kept at 165, then yeah, this is just cheaper. It's A, cheaper by about $45. And B, it's just better. So why would people be buying beyond Pharaoh, so throne of the Alderaan. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. Like, those people are idiots. Like, here we have products called Secret Lair. I've been very pro on Secret Lair because you're guaranteed money. It's, like, obvious. But this product is even more obvious. It's, like, the only product better than this product would be Dual Lands. Now, Dual Lands are on the reserve list. And we are in the year of the EDH. Can I see Ally Fetch Lands being reprinted? Yeah, definitely. If this goes well, Ally Fetch Lands are next in line. Could I see Doubling Season as a single? Yeah. They're just going to sell you directly. So if I... I was talking to a few local stores in the Houston area. We have a private Facebook group that we're part of. And everyone has made the conclusion that you can no longer sell singles. That selling singles is a really bad because you know you're holding on to these fetch lands because your customers want them and then all of a sudden they get reprinted in a direct to consumer product what singles do you currently own as a store and that's not on the reserve list that you don't believe high value singles that you don't believe will be reprinted so yeah this is a definite buy and uh, I really don't understand the people buying the collector's box. Like they, it's something super obvious to me. Holy blank, these are fetch lands that you can buy one by one. You should save all your money and buy, get, four, get your playset of, uh, well, half, play, I mean, you get half of them, 
we'll just wait for the next half, the ally, and you get 20 of them. Just buy four boxes of this. Or you could buy, you know, 20 singletons, and you're good. You're set. Or if you play EDH, actually, you only need one box for EDHs. So if you have no interest in modern, and this is banned in Pioneer, then this is a great buy. Whatever the singleton cost comes out to be, I don't think it will be more than 165 right? Uh, well, maybe it'll be more than 165 because it's like a bundle deal. So maybe 200 Well, holy blank, $200 is the cost of a collector's box of Throne of the Elder Rain. Or um, not for Pharaoh's Beyond Death. Would you rather have this or Pharaoh's Beyond Death collector? No, it doesn't make any sense. Guys, come on. Let's think about this for a moment. <laughs> Holy blank, this is a good buy. And this was the direction that I expected them to go on. And yes, do I own lots of fetch lands? Yes, I own lots of fetch lands. But at the same time, this is exactly what should have happened all along. Um, honestly, uh, to be quite frank with you, I don't see... I couldn't see this not happening. And... Uh, Obviously, Ally Fetchlands are next. Shocklands are probably on due soon. Uh, obviously, we have Shocklands in standard now, so it doesn't really make sense to reprint them. But eventually, they will in a, a secret layer format. Any card over $50 will be reprinted into Oblivion. Could I see a Liliana Singleton? Yeah. Double X. Any card that can be reprinted will be reprinted. Hence my investment in the reserve list for this exact reason now what goes well with fetch lands you guessed it dual lands so guess who's holding on to a bunch of dual lands for dear life <laughs> so i mean god it's so simple guys it's so simple they're going to reprint everything over 25 dollars in a secret layer it's literally printing money. The secondary market should never have existed in the first place, in my opinion. I mean, never so got so big. The whole MT, the fact that MTG Finance is a thing is pretty ridiculous for a card game, right? Like, does Pokemon have MTG Finance? No, it doesn't. Well, I mean, for graded, I mean, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about standard cards. Like, standard Pokemon. Uh, they're just going to reprint it in a, um, a collector's box or a tin or something. The same with Yu-Gi-Oh. They're going to reprint the cards that are expensive and make it very easy for everyone to get them. Therefore, Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon make more money. Why would Magic not follow their model? Anyway, hi guys.